Okay guys, we're gonna do the backgrounds of our uh, Northern Lights pieces. So this is the part that we put the Northern Lights on. We're gonna be using beautiful chalk pastels. The ones we have at school are a little bit broken up, but that's okay because we just need to use them on their sides anyways. So it'll work out. So my first step <clears throat> is to take a dark blue and do the background. So I'm gonna take it on its side and I'm gonna lightly, that's the key word, we don't want too, too much on there. I'm gonna lightly whoop, rub it on the background to kind of make a bluey night sky all over. I'm gonna try to actually keep it going in the same direction so I don't have too much pattern going across the background. We don't really want that. We just need this kind of a light, blue covering the back all right that's okay if there's some down there because we're going to be covering up the very bottom <clears throat> so we're going to try not to put too many of our most beautiful northern lights down at this part because you're going to see later what we're going to do there okay so i'm going to use that same blue and i'm going to use the tip of this one this time and i'm going to make some movement in the sky with the northern lights because as we saw in that video they're like they're like dancing across the sky. So I really wanna have some movement in there. So I'm gonna come in with my dark blue first because if we start dark, then we can build it up with lighter color. So we always do dark first with these guys. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna do like one blue line like that movement because they kind of, they kind of have a wavy movement like that. Um, maybe I'll come in and do some big ones like that. And another one. I connected these ones so this is going to be like a big piece of light right there and then maybe another one like that okay uh we don't want to add too much that's always the problem with chalk pastel is that i just want to like add more and more and more and more and uh just doesn't really look that nice after it just kind of gets muddy and the color gets all like crazy so the next color i'm going to go in maybe mm, i don't have dark green right here i have dark green in another one I do. I'm going to take dark green. If you don't have it in your tray, go borrow it from someone else. And I'm going to just go along that same line. You guys can do whatever pattern you kind of want, but make sure it looks like the Northern Lights. Um, I'm going to come on the inside of this guy and we'll see why. Hi, Mrs. Howe. Can one student down to the main floor to get pita pits from Healthy Hunger for today? Thank you. <laughs> Hi, Miss Hanfeld. All right, so there I have some green. Maybe I'll put a little bit on the inside of this guy too because it's going to be a big block of color. And then I'm going to come in with my light green. Oh, it comes in lighter. This one's nice because it really looks like electric neon kind of when you put it on there. And you don't want to press too hard, okay? There we go. Some more green. I might come back in with that later. Um, maybe I'll come in with, let's see, these are all a little bit crazy. Maybe I'll come in with some light blue now. If you have purple, purple is a nice one in there too. But, that's awesome. I'm gonna come along this side too with that blue. Not too hard, just pressing very lightly. This part goes pretty quickly. You don't wanna add too much chalk pastel or it gets messy. All right, uh, maybe I'll come in with some uh, orange. Let's try that. Okay, and last, maybe some, some yellow. I'll use this one on its side. I'm just gonna highlight up here. I'm keeping the movement going. I'm kind of using it really with heat. Okay. Now comes the smudging part. Okay, now that I have my chalk pestle on there, I'm going to come in with my finger and I'm going to smudge it together. I'm going to start mostly at the bottom, pressing my hardest, and then really gently. And when I get to the top, I just do a light wisp at the top. And you know what? I don't want to even work it more than that because it's going to look muddy otherwise. It's looking cool. I might come in with some more colors after I take a step back and say, you know what, I need this color in it. 
this thick um, solid line of the blue here, you might want to soften that a bit on the edge. There we go. That's beautiful. I'm not going to do any more than that. I'm going to come in at the bottom of this guy, pressing harder here. But I'm going to kind of like paint with my finger. So I'm going to follow the movement that I created here. And then up at the top is where I make it really, really wispy. But I kind of want to soften the edges of that dark blue now that I take a step back and look at it. Okay. And last one, wispy ends. Ooh, I love how the color like just kind of looks diffuse. Okay, when I look at it now, I think I might want some more light blue. So I'm gonna come in again with the light blue through here. Make some more here. A little bit more, and then maybe some yellow. No, red, I want red. Maybe just some highlights of red throughout here. Okay, now let's see what happens when I smear that. You don't want to go too hard or you're going to bring up the whole, like pull the, all of the color off with your finger. I really like the way, oh, really like the way that looks. Okay. So that's the first step of our background. Okay, dudes, this is uh, one of the last steps we do on here. I'm going to do the, um, whoop. See, I can't stop smudging. <laughs> I'm gonna add some stars or snow in the background. I uh, put some metallic tempera paint in there. It's kind of a bronzy gold color. And then just some white paint. Um, and I have a tiny, tiny little paintbrush. I, have, I just bought a couple new ones of these so you guys can try them out. This is gonna be my stars. I'm gonna just take a little tiny bit on my brush and just dab them around the page. You want to keep it up on its tippy toes like a ballerina foot on its tippy toes. Just use the very tip of the brush for this one to make little circles. You don't want to press too much. I thought it'd be nice to add some metallic in here. If you don't want metallic, you don't have to use it. Okay, maybe some more. Well, Karen Jane to the office, please. Karen Jane, thanks. Nice cousins. Okay. If you press down too hard, you get kind of a splatty one like that, but that's okay. I'm even going to put some over top of my uh, pastel. Okay. Now I'm going to get a little bit of water on the brush, wash my brush off, and use white. Come in with white. I'm not really putting it at the bottom because I'm going to be putting my Edmonton skyline there. I'm just doing it totally random. I hope this is fun for y'all. I'm doing different sizes too, so it looks a little bit more realistic. Some small ones some bigger ones. Ah, what do you think?
Okay, last step. I put some glue on the back of my skyline after I cut it out. Whoops, I need a little bit more on this end. Then I'm gonna stick it on the bottom. Let's see how it looks. Ooh. Right, line it up, right corner to corner. And press it down. I'm not gonna smudge it because it'll smudge the chalk pastel. Whoops, I got some gold on my hand because my paint hasn't dry yet. <clears throat> and there we go. Edmonton and the Northern Lights.